hello, hello. In case, <laughs> sorry, I said that and my dog looked at me like, what? What are you talking about? What are you talking to me for? That was funny. It's all right, Spikey. In case you are not aware of the YouTube, uh, the booktube community, yesterday, the 29th, was the first day of the three day Christmas booktubeathon, which is where you try and read 300 pages a day or three books in three days. There are certain challenges, and the challenges this year are read a book with your favourite colour on the cover, read a book that was gifted to you and read a book in a genre you've discovered this year. So, I have got three book reviews coming to you today, tomorrow and on the first um, of the three books that I am reading in the Booktubeathon. So the first one, and I completed it at the end of yesterday and then started my next book, because I'm very good like that, um, I read Fun Science by Charlie McDonnell. This fits into the favourite colour category because my favourite colours include the purple on the N of science, um, the blue of the E, and also pink. Not this particular shade of pink, but pink. And there is pink on the cover. There's lots of colours on this. Anyway, this was written by Charlie McDonnell, aka Charlie is so cool like on YouTube, who was the first YouTuber I ever subscribed to and started this whole YouTube world for me. It's been a long time. So I have wanted to read a book about science for a long time. I actually read a book about maths earlier this year um, and I wanted to find one about science and then I found out Charlie was releasing one and I thought, well, that's perfect, I'll read that. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, there are different sections and it goes basically from the universe down to quarks. So it covers a wide range of science in firm in good detail but not so complicated that you're like I don't know what's going on he explains it in a really very good way and apparently I've lost the ability to actually review books in a comprehensible way comprehensible is that a word I don't even know I've discovered from this because I like Charlie says in the introduction like a lot of people, I really disliked science at school and I just saw it as a means to an end to stay on and do my A-levels, basically, was the way I saw it. Um, but this has made me actually interested in science and there were parts of it that I thought were so cool. And while I find the universe really interesting, I think it's awesome. The part of this that surprised me that I enjoyed the most was the bio biology side of things, was learning about the human body and other animals bodies so who knew that biology was my favourite science I didn't know that about myself I thought it was my least favourite at school so that just goes to show you um, I feel like I want to learn more about science now um, and it was really interesting particularly at the end learning about string theory because I've just it's just a term that I've heard thrown around for clever people so it's actually begin to understand the concept of it is extremely exciting to me. I love how Charlie's passion comes through in this and it is so clearly a passion project that if you are somebody who is a fan of Charlie, probably worth reading because it's very much his style of writing is how he talks to a point, um, but also more importantly if you're interested in science and didn't really feel like school gave you the in that you wanted this is the book to read if you want to understand it more. It's great. And not patronising either. It's broken down simply, but without being patronising. So many people, I worry, will see this as just another YouTuber book, but this feels like it means something and has a purpose, which is to spread Charlie's passion for science to other people who may not have any interest in science or don't think they do, like myself. Um, so I'm ready to learn more and I hope that other people are too. That is everything for today's review. Tomorrow I will have a review of Ruin and Rising, the final book in the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo. Um, and the day after that I will have another non-fiction review for you. So see you then. Bye!